I say what? Another Isaac run? Sorry. It was inside. It had to come out. Right. Well, this is a bad start. At least we're Isaac. Uh, again, for the millionth time. So we do have some chance of not dying in this horrendous room of hate. Unfortunately, we don't have any way of getting it over quickly, so this is going to be a slog. Oh, shit. So this is a, sort of the third opportunity in a row we've had to use our uh, rerolls to great effect, and therefore the third opportunity we've had in a row to fuck up our rerolls. First time we successfully fucked up our rerolls uh, to my own detriment, we died nine times on Hush, several of which were at my own hand because I knew I couldn't win, and it pays to know your own weaknesses. My weakness in this fight is going to be boredom. It's a, a morale hit for sure. So let's see what we get on this run, because on yesterday's run we didn't get much opportunity to apply our rerolls well because all the items are really good, so maybe some batteries, what's this? Two of clubs. Ah, that's a good start. Uh yeah. Taking hmm. It's not an XL floor, no. Taking uh syringes is much more beneficial than it used to be. Because of the spun transformation. That's really bad damage. Look, it's not bad damage against these motherfuckers, because they're impossible to kill when you're uh, in the end game, and this is the fucking first fucking room of the... F Look, die. Good. Well, at least we got some uh, spirit hearts out of it. That's actually really valuable. The two of clubs will manifest as two bombs if we don't use it first. It'll only manifest as one bomb, since we have one bomb at the moment. If we use our bomb... Well, it'll manifest itself as two bombs, but it'll bring our total to three bombs rather than two, so it's a little bit min-maxy, but when you've not got many things, min-maxing is uh, valuable. When you have many things, min-maxing is as useless as it sounds. Ah, uh, I don't know. Min-maxing is one of those sort of derogatory terms used by nerds against nerds. Um, it's not necessarily a bad idea. It just has, it has an aura of why are you wasting your time, you know? That's good. That's good. Should have used the uh, two clubs first, but to be honest, unless we get three, three bombs, it's not really worth using two clubs at all. So we might as well keep hold of it, because uh, we don't need the slot for anything else. The cards, the cards. Slow. Oh, fuck. Slot. Hoping for uh, maybe. Ooh, it's probably worth um, a bomb here. I mean, a bomb for a black heart is basically what you're hoping for whenever you get a uh, tinted drop. Show up. Except you're hoping for a, t a spirit heart there, and you don't always get one, so... Uh, it's, it's obvious that the economy bomb for a black heart is uh, a true story. Also, how did I not take damage there? Or there! Or there. We're back at full HP, plus the bonuses that we've had for doing this floor. I'm not quite sure why I'm going to the effort of doing all these. We are only going to the mom fight, not... I uh, only just really realised that, so maybe we should think about getting a press on. So there's two things that we need for the mom fight, one of which... I'll, I'll use this, because I expect this is a secret room. It is. One of which is a way to beat the game. <laughs> you know, get further than mom. One of which is to get to boss rush in time. So two main things that we need, I suppose. We could do many other things, like a significantly large amount of damage, so that we can go through the floors without taking horrendous amounts of bad damage ourselves, so that we can at least speed up fights like this. We need opportunities to reroll shitty items into decent ones. I was kind of hoping that would uh, kite its way into Little Horn there, but that was an excellent bomb by Little Horn for Little Horn. Tears upgrade is excellent, so again, not really using the rerolls. Never mind. We do need to get a little bit of a speed up. We're at four minutes and what? <laughs> oh, okay. I thought we had some weird floor layout just now, but it was the big map manifesting itself. We need to speed up four minutes and we're only starting the second floor. Hello, Liz. Thank you. Uh, could be a super secret room. We've already used our tour clubs. I did pop it at a, what I thought was an opportune moment when I was going to uh, want to find the secret room, which I, I did want to do and I did, did do. So There's that. Didn't need to kill those spiders. I'm pretty sure we get... Yeah, Gimp is worthwhile as well. Come on, give me something to re-roll. Pretty sure we're going to get 
Um, we don't get any points for killing spiders after the room has already technically been won. There is a tinted rock here, and I'm not even going to shoot the poop. I'm just going to explode everything. Small rock, great item. I'm pretty sure re-rolling that would be a terrible, terrible idea, because I don't know what item pool it would come from. That was crazily good dodge. Um, I don't know what item pool it would come from, and I'm expecting whatever item pool it is. It doesn't have things quite as good as small rock. It could have things considerably better than small rock, but... Uh, we'll see how long it takes us to beat our boss. I do want to have the re-roll ready, but we can recharge... Or head down as we feel, as we see fit, basically. We've got plenty of HP. We haven't been hit on this floor yet. Famous last words, right? But even if we get hit by a monstro here, which is not unheard of with those monstros long attacks, it's uh, quite possible for one of these random shots to hit us. But it doesn't look like it's going to. The tears up great from Squeezy combined with the damage multiplier from the small rock. That's a uh, HP I'll take in a minute. Yeah, I think we take all of these. Because we have enough HP. I think we've still got our three. So we take this one. And this one. And then we take this one. Now, empty vessel only works if we don't have any red HP. Okay. We did get a guppy item. But the guppy item gave us the HP back that we spent for it. So we now have two because we picked up the HP. Uh, when we left as well. But, it's not over. Tears it's not over. Oh, now we've got a fucking... Cursed the maze. Good for Christian maze. Wow, uh, I've never heard him say that before, I don't think. It's quite funny. We have infinite bombs and we don't have infinite black hearts, but apparently I'm using black hearts willy nilly anyway. So, uh, shoot those over there. So we can use bombs offensively, which is something I need to practice, so I'm gonna do it whilst I have infinite of them. Another reroll. Oh, hello. We found our item room. That was, uh, oh, we can't fly. We can't fly, and I've just been playing a run of my own where I could fly. And now I'm taking silly damage because I've got myself in a tiz. Oh, fucking, this is a good item as well. I'm wondering whether if we re-roll these items, it's sort of curated to give us even more amazing items. Even amazinger items. Probably not. Look. To hell with the shop. <laughs> Obviously, the game does not want us to go to the shop. Therefore, go to the shop. We shall not. Fucking bonies. Hate them. Gimpy, though. Thank you. Gave me that back. But it does count. Damage penalty. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay. That's actually a library, not a shop. What was I saying yesterday about libraries? If you can swing it, you can re-roll everything in them. That was a bit of a tricky dodge to have made. Oh, fuck me. Will you stand still? I'm going to actually try and go back now, because this is the shop here. So the library is up here. I'm taking a lot of silly damage right now. I think I've started to get cocky. Let me in. Okay, good. It's not uh, a library in the sense of it has anything in it. Just some uh, cards I don't really care for. I was hoping to re-roll anything, but nope, just cards. Hop into the curse room. I'm going slowly now, because A, I keep getting redirected by Curse of the Go Fuck Yourself, but also... I've started taking silly damage and not really hitting enemies with my tears, which is the point of the tears. Uh, but not the point. Not the use I seem to be putting them towards, unfortunately. Another room I haven't seen before. You do have to sort of have some... I don't know, sixth sense of how to actually deal with them. Not secret rooms. Whatever, let's fight Gurdy. How did you know it was going to be Gurdy? Uh, I didn't. I read the... The, the vignette, whatever you call it, in between there, the you know the the, the flash card, the title screen, the boss graphic, doing okay damage. The uh, the flies are going to help. You can see it. The health bar jumps down quite considerably when the fly hits, and if Rotten Baby is well, <laughs> dodge that one. <laughs> Literally dodged the bullet. Oh, I don't want it. Fuck. <laughs> Yay, we can re-roll things. Just take everything. I'm so used to taking everything. That's not going to be a secret room. That's bullshit. We're out of caves one by ten minutes, which is not brilliant. Right, look. Pay attention. Don't take things you don't need. Re-roll shit you don't need. Got the D6. At least it wasn't as foolish a mistake as taking Bum Friend on a daily. Where Bum Friend is basically just negative points... Officially. 
I've got to get out a jail free card. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with it necessarily. There are options for it. No, thank you. Petrified poop can be good for us. There's not much poop at this stage of the game. But it can still be kind of worthwhile. We might as well do this and this and get those. No fucking secret rooms anywhere on this floor, so to hell with it. Let's leave. Just before 10 minutes, we're starting on Caves 2, so we need to go a bit faster. We've only got 10 minutes to do the rest of the game. We certainly must do Boss Rush. Okay. There's five cents, which can buy us something. We reroll that into Bloody Lust, which is decent. In fact, it's decent before that happens and when you still have IV, IV bag, but uh, whatever, I guess. We don't have any bombs, we don't have any keys. This is a problem. But at least our DPS is good. Not sure it's boss rush levels of good. We do have to beat 15 waves of two bosses at a time. With only a slight damage upgrade, which I, in fairness, did bring on myself. Ooh. <laughs> this is a very interesting time to have done this. We press this button. We get this. Now we need a teleport card. Ah, oh, do we? It's Catacombs 2. It's not Necropolis 2. We've got a long way to go, actually. Hmm. So that's actually an interesting question. Do you hit that now? Skip boss rush. I feel like it's too early. You know, we've got boss rush itself is a, a strong option. And also, we'd miss a couple of floors by doing that. Plus, we then have to try and beat the dark room at this current level of... Ah, we'll go in here, we've got money. At this current level of... For what of a lack, of, for lack of a better word, power. Um, we have shit power. We're not doing very well at all. I will buy mom's key. I think between these two things, I think they're going to pay for themselves. Is what I'm saying. Both in terms of the points that we lost picking up the items and spending the money, and just simply in terms of the money itself. They don't really help our DPS, so they're not going to assist us in the actual. Like room to room play. But they will assist us in from a daily perspective, whereby we need to get points. And I'm assuming there's a way to get past, you know, the end of the game. We'll uh, open this. Oh. Oh, remember that one. <laughs> the red and white one gives you the curse of the maze. Ooh. Another thing I don't want to reroll. Yeah, we'll take this. We've seen this before. It poisons things, and then if they die to the poison, they drop a shit ton of black hearts, and it's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, it's already nearly paid for itself. Especially in terms of bombs. Like, it's not pay for itself, we spent 30 cents on what we have. But since every chest is paying out with a lot of stuff, and all the stuff it pays out with is doubled as well, I think we just get a move on here, actually. Try and get to boss rush. There we go. Oh, fuck me. Do you see that thing? It did this sort of swing around the room sort of move. Wow, we're doing a lot of damage, especially if you factor the poison damage in. Um, excuse me, where's my uh, deal with the devil? Why am I taking these things? I could have re-rolled any of this. Fuck. <laughs> I just take boss items. It's the way I. It's the way I play it. It's like oh, HP. Kind of expecting a deal with the devil. To re-roll. <laughs> no. Plus owl. See now that I've got all this free HP and what feels like a great amount of DPS, even though. It's not actually. I'm just sort of playing really foolishly. Really slapdash. It's going to be a bony. It is a bony. I knew it was going to be a bony. And then it was a bony. And I still got hit by the bony. We're on a Necropolis 1. It's not even an XL floor, but it feels like an XL floor because of the way the rooms are stitched together. And the fact that it seems to be a fucking huge floor. How... Uh... I hate this room. There we go. I killed everything. We're fine. We can get in here. We're still fine. We do need to actually kind of play these rooms anyway because of the points. Of course, if I take so much damage, <laughs> don't count. I'm not going to open this last chest because if it teleports us to the deal with the devil, we don't get the points for doing this room. If it teleports us to deal with the devil, then we have a, you know, a reroll ready. That's the kind of best of both worlds, so we'll pop it at the end, which is now. It did not. It was just bombs, so... Nothing to worry about, I suppose. This feels like a secret room. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
has got a secret room item. Missing no. Well, we have to. Because I have... I can't be trusted. <laughs> what have we got? We've got Mom's Eye. Low rate of fire. It looks like maybe the dead onion. Cupid's arrow for the piercing shots. Robo Baby 1.0. Which is actually my preferred one because it's like having um, technology with Lilith. You don't have to try and guide it around the room. We've also got GB Bug and Obsessed Fan. So, if we dodge around correctly, enemies will walk into that fly. We've also got Samson's Chains, which will help us explode rocks if we wish. I do like piercing shots. Oh, and God's Flesh. So now we've got tiny things that we can squish. But I'm not going to get too close in case they turn back to big whilst I'm trying to squish them. Which happened all the time with Duke Nukem as well. There we go. Some of our shots are round, and I'm not sure why. What is all this about? These things turning up in front of you is such a common event. Not just in front of you, but on top of you. Our, our DPS has suffered considerably for this missing no reroll, but on the plus side, if you can call it a plus side, well, two plus sides. One, we haven't found the item room yet. And two, it gets rerolled on the next floor. So that's going to be fun. Because what Missing No does <laughs> is every when you first pick it up, it does a full run reroll. Oh, now we've got fucking. Fine. First of all, Missing No will reroll your run when you pick it up. And then it will reroll your run on every single floor subsequently. Uh, subsequently? Yeah, subsequently. Afterwards, well, you small words that you understand. Not, not you, the viewers, me. <laughs> Trying to find words I understand so that I can be sure that I'm saying the right thing. Oh, we've got Dark Bum as well, which could be good in terms of HP. Not that we seem to have any problems with HP. A battery charge is kind of nice. We can go and reroll the uh, Undefined. I don't think you can get error rooms, or at least not valuably. Just, uh, just use the... How did you... Up here. Our damage is so poor right now. Uh, I'm not going to waste any more time. We've only got four minutes. We haven't even beaten this boss yet. So we will come in here. We'll try and find a passive item. Yeah. I like the mind. Oh, we won't keep it, of course. So there is a shop. I don't really fancy making my way to it. It's a very long way away. Ooh, that was a weird transition. That made me feel bad inside. Can I make this go any faster? No. <laughs> Help. Put that there. Explode him. Yeah. Explode. Explode me. How do I even hit it? I don't really want the petrified poop anymore. I can't get near it because of the bullshit creep it's made all over the place. There we go. Oh, we've got dead birds, so dead bird is doing some amount of damage. Not very much. <laughs> Uh, neither are we. Has to be said. Yeah, good. Well, that'll do some damage. Yeah, good. Do not like a bloat fight, especially when we can't do any damage to anything ever. Blank rune. Curse dice, I guess. Health up. Health up. Uh, and we might as well take this, because we've got way more HP than we could ever have needed, and we've got money for it, so that's nice. Apparently losing an HP in any way. Ah, fuck it. Come on. Uh, will cause you to lose the Golden Heart. And, oh, we've got a transformation. Beelzebub, we're on Necropolis 2. We've got Host Hat, which means we're immune to damage. Uh, okay, we've got a very short range. Um, okay. Very short range. Um, Mr. Mega, huge amount of damage. Air throw. The body. That doesn't really help me. Uh, what am I saying? Fucking, what is this item? Dr. Fetus. Yeah, I prefer this. Rusty Key seems nice. But, it's also got Tech X. <laughs> so, <laughs> they have a, a ring of lasers around them. I assume it's Tech X. Can't actually tell. 
They have a ring of lasers around them, which does damage. Sure, fuck it. <laughs> it does damage. Whew. Until the bomb explodes, whereupon the bomb explodes. So we could do this instead of boss rush, or we can hope to maybe find. Is that a teleport card? Something that brings us. We had a stars card! You idiot! Why did you give away your stars card? So we got a GB baby for some reason. Uh, GB bug. We've got Pyromaniac as well. Which yes. means we can't be injured. We will not just can't be injured, but will be healed by bombs. And did we keep the mine somehow? World card. Doesn't help. We have to find a teleport card, however long it takes us, unless it takes us too long. There's an AWAS room. Why did I use it now? I'm panicking. That was very foolish as well. We have this, we have this. Nope. There was an AWAS room, and I was too busy thinking about getting out of boss rush, and not thinking in terms of going to the next floor, which is the whole point of the fucking... Rune. Ah, oh, jeez. Temperance. No good. Ah! You can't do it. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> oh no. I bet this is a teleport card. It's not. Okay, good. Well, in that case, to hell with the mom fight, right? Let's go and fight the lamb. Mmm, the lamb. We've also got a couple of other rooms to play. That was a big panicky misplay. I admit it, I wasn't paying attention. A yarrow room. I mean, even this blank room could have been better for us. Empress is not teleport card. We were given so many ways of getting out of this. I was given many ways of getting out of this, and I squandered them all. Except for the fact that there is a sacrifice room, self-sacrifice room in this floor. Oh god, I want to get in there. Let me in. But that's not where the secret room is. Oh, forfeit boss rush. Like, the AWAS room would have got us to the next floor, and let us do boss rush. Fuck me. These bombs have no range. Good. Well. Well. Nothing in here. I'll we'll go through here, pick up the cash for the points. Such a poor score. At least we can't take damage. No. Can't take damage anymore, really. Free entry to stores. Don't really care. Oh, I suppose we don't need to worry about the proximity of our bombs to ourselves. Which is a bonus because they're extremely proximate. They're vengefully proximate. It's probably valuable to go and find what's in that secret room as well. The super secret room that's over there on the left. But I'm not going to. Use up all our HP on this. Great. Coins. Great. That's pretty good. Fine. Probably shouldn't have picked that up at this stage, but whatever. Yeah, hurt me. I can do it. Oh shit, we can heal ourselves infinitely. <laughs> of course we can. So. Oh, now we go. That's interesting, because last time. I uh, tried to get things to re-roll like this. Nothing drops, remember? That was yesterday, in fact. Tried to get the angel to drop key pieces so we could re-roll the motherfucking things. We've got Monstro's Lung and Gurdy Jr. Which is not good enough, but we do have a battery charge which I just spotted on the map. Let's two of them. So we can min-max this slightly. I'm happy with that. I would like to get into the uh, boss trap room, but we have to... We did have a temperance card. Could have done it. I'll take this. I'm not going to take this other one because it's now good. Oh, I feel a bit faster. That's good. How about our range? Not that it matters, but it's bad. Still bad. <laughs> what a wash. Come on, let's go this way. I want to find out what's in this secret room here. Oh, we could. Interesting. Well, now I've got another pickle for myself. Do I teleport straight to the boss fight? 
uh, to the to the end fight. We're not keeping this run, remember. This is getting re-rolled regardless of what we do. So do we do another floor? And hope that we can continue doing these self-sacrifice rooms. Or do we go and do the lamb fight? I think the right thing to do would be to keep doing self-sacrifice rooms. Which means that one was a bit of a waste. I should probably think these things through before I even start. Right, let's do the next floor. Oh god, we are so extremely very slow right now. Okay, so we have tech two. We can still fly. We have fucking number two. Oh god, which causes butt bombs to pop out of our ass every oh, range, range down. Well, that's fine because we had infinite range anyway, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, excuse me? Help. I, I literally can't tell what's happening right now. We have some form of triple shot. We're extremely slow to the extent that I can't really avoid those things. We can fly because we don't get we don't lose um, transformations once you've earned them. Wow. We've got continuous continuum shots. So this is tech two. Which is why we're still shooting normally, I think. I guess. That seems right. We've got continuum shots going besides the tech two. We have to be aware that we've got number two as well, which is going to keep pooping everywhere with these bombs. Why is my laser stuck? The laser is shooting somewhere. I don't know what just happened. Hematemesis. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's the worst pill for this right now -ness. Jeez Louise. Jinkies the winkies. I mean, the continuum shots at least are also spectral tears, so they do go over bombs. See, look, it's happening. Oh, I think we've got kidney stone. Right. Okay, that makes sense. So whenever the laser stops changing direction, that's because kidney stone's ready to fire. Can't get in there, because we just used the hematomesis pill, which I didn't know was a hematomesis pill, but I used it anyway, because I still don't learn. We've got explosivo, which will stick all these boomy shots to bad guys, which is cool. But our damage and power is still horrendous. So, good luck, I guess. Oh, shit. And it's all getting re-rolled at next floor as well. Which is the best bit. Now we need to heal ourselves back up again. We don't have Pyromaniac, so we don't have that option. Oh, we're so slow. <sighs> Take a nap. In between fucking rooms and floors. and Jeez Louise. <sighs> We've also got... Some form of sticky shot. At least butt bombs there actually makes us makes everything confused. That's really really helpful, and it does damage, like poison damage to everything on the floor while in the room, which is also extremely useful. So when I stop firing, which you know, it's hard to tell when I've stopped firing because we're firing so infrequently anyway. That's when Matt's kidney stone is ready to give me a. Brief burst, very brief burst of a shitload of shots all at once. We can't get away from it. <laughs> it's going too slow. Oh, crying. Right, now we have an opportunity to get a deal with the devil item without a deal with the devil, which is good, because there's no fucking way we're getting a deal with the devil. Not after that damage. How slow can a big fucking run be? This is probably minimum damage. Ah. A, we don't know what it is, and B, we're stuck. So, Book of Belial. We'll reroll it. We get the nail. Give us HP. Take this. See if we can find a self sacrifice room. This could have been a terrible idea. Because <laughs> what I actually wanted to do was go straight to the lamp fight. Of course, we'd be on the dark room with this run. This fucking number two explosivo continuum mass kidney stone bullshit. And not being able to get away from... Judgment. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, it looks like we've got something that gives us invincibility besides the Polaroid. What do we win? Growth hormones. Speed and damage and spun. Okay, that's really good, because we keep spun. And full health! Full health. <gasps> right. All is not lost. 
because I'm randomly taking pills, even though every single run I say don't randomly take pills, it always ends badly. Now we can go in here and take this, which is Mom's Contest, which is okay. Now we've got the Mom Transformation. Uh, why can't I fire? There we go. Well, I thought I couldn't fire because the Kidney Stone was having an effect, but I was holding down the button and it was still not having an effect, so... Just be aware that you have number two. Whenever you hear that sound, just go somewhere else. It's pretty simple. There we go. Please explode the monster. Of course, trying to actually get the number two butt bomb to be useful is a challenge. Let's call it that. Because it's just going to end up where we are. You, know, you have to somehow be able to control it. Expect it. You can expect the first one because it's about three seconds of continual fire. But beyond that, not really. We have nine lives, which is good. Yeah, I think we keep that. So now we just hope, beyond hope, that we can find another self-sacrifice rune because, of course, we haven't got another Awar rune. Awar's rune. Paralysis. Paralysis. Well, we can fly, so who cares? Wow, what shit. Get rid of this one first, I think. It's just going to be a pest. I mean, we could find an AWAS rune, it's not unlikely. We have found both secret runes, and secret runes tend to be where runes come from. Super secret runes are, anyway. That's a very useful number two bomb just now. Freezing everything. Well, I think bomb's contact freezes everything, but the number two bomb was complicit in the confusion of everything so that I could dodge around without worrying about where they are. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. We have another re-roll, which we could use on the boss item if we wanted to. Well, we know there's no um, secret room down there because we've seen them, so if this is not a self-sacrifice room, then that's GG. How do I fire? Make me fire. There we go. I think I have to hold the button down for an amount of time. Ah, I wonder whether it maintains the fact that it's the devil rune pool. Because if it's the devil rune pool, then that means this reroll could give us the shovel. It didn't. <laughs> Look, that was shit. I made all the wrong mistakes, became 2,000th. You know, I could have used the AWAS rune after boss rush, I could have used the self sacrifice rune and gambled on it and kept going, and been doing the lamb at the end of that. I could have not taken missing no and therefore not completely ruined everything all the time, but I did none of those things, so instead, that was a poor run. Uh, again, Isaac run, D6, taking all the wrong things. What a mistake to make her. So please, Edmund, Tyrone, stop giving me Isaac runs. I want to do something else. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>